Do you really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. What if they try to kill us in our sleep? I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. Then we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. Interesting. All we ever got was a tattered blanket, a rock-hard bed, and well past its prime food. What are you talking about? What we got for our slave labor back in Calaglia. As you can tell, it wasn't much at all. Here, the Danans get the same basic amenities, but the quality is way better than anything we were given. Hell, apparently they even get time off to do what they want. If I'm being honest, I'm... I'm not sure how to take all this in. Could it be that things were simply harsher in Calaglia compared to everywhere else? It was the same in Cislodia, too. Our buildings and clothing were equipped to handle the cold, but that was the only difference. Working the floodlights was a form of punishment, so we didn't really get rewarded for anything that we did. Yeah, you could be assigned to fix food or make daily necessities, too, but when all was said and done, most of that stuff went to the Renans. There wasn't much in the way of compensation for any of that, so I'd say that Cislodia and Calaglia were both pretty awful. An Elder Menencia really is unusual. To say the least. Hell, I might even go so far as to call it crazy. But the fact remains, Danans aren't free here. Yeah, no matter how happy they look, they're still slaves. I don't even know what to think right now. This is all way too much to deal with. It's giving me a headache. So that was Lord Dolim, huh? He sure is something. Definitely not like the other lords we've met up until now. At first, he sounded like just some snobby royal. But he immediately shut down Xion's surprise attack. He's tougher than he looks. Definitely. After all, he's a lord for a reason. The food was pretty damn good, too. Why are you two complimenting him? You just said it yourself, Alfin. He's a Renan lord. Yeah, but he didn't act hostile towards us. You're reading him wrong. He's acting indifferent. He's attempting to keep some distance between himself and everyone else. It's obvious. What are we going to do then? Vicent seems to be legit peaceful. Are we just gonna do as he says and leave things be? I'm not entirely sure. For now, I think it would be best for us to rest at the inn and think about our options. the Danans are still technically slaves here, they aren't being oppressed. If Calaglia had been like this, would we have been content? Would there have been any reason to stand and fight? Let's head towards the inn. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable.
This is better than I expected. Mm hmm? The room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, Law? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. You're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Shion ate it too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danins, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <laughs> Cat? Where'd it come from? There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. H hey! Where do you think you're going? Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's gotten into you, Law? This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us a message or something? I could be wrong, but it's possible. I'm impressed. I would never have thought of that. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. She's so adorable. So, that black cat, do you think it works for someone? I'm sure it does. It wouldn't try to lead us around like that if somebody didn't train it to. I wouldn't know. I've never had one myself. If I did, it'd probably try to eat poor Hoodle. Huh. I wonder who they are, though. I doubt this is Dohalim's work. Yeah, he has no reason to do this. Although we can't rule out that it might be one of his lackeys, either. You think one of his subordinates is up to something? That Dohalim guy is a pretty unusual character for a Renan, let alone for a lord. It's hard for me to imagine that they all agree with what he's doing. Maybe one of them plucked up the courage to go rogue. Well, let's head further in. I'd like to figure out at least one of the mysteries of this place. Where do you think it's trying to lead us? Who knows? 
We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary cute cat. We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's got to be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. I get that underground forests aren't exactly something you see every day, but I really could have done without any zoogles running around. You said it. I get the city up top surrounded by castle walls, but now I won't be able to sleep easy knowing they're lurking underneath. You have nothing to fear. Zoogles work for the Renans. There might be strays out here, but the other Zoogles won't let them get close. Using Zoogles to keep watch over their own kind, huh? That would explain why we're not seeing any guards. Yeah, which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. Sorry, Xion. My foot slipped. Are you all right? I should be asking you. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're okay. It's easy to forget sometimes. If anybody else had been in your place, they'd be howling right about now. Huh? Oh, right. You mean your thorns. Yeah, I'm... Uh, no worse for wear over here. Again, sorry for brushing you like that without warning. Well, just be careful. <sighs> hey, Alfin? Hmm? Forget it. It's nothing. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, well, okay. What's with those two?
forgive you! Your heart's content. I can feel my power growing. The reason the trees are out here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible, but give them enough time and trees can get pretty big on their own without any extra help. Our eyes on the prize. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Here's a healing arm. Okay, here I go. Whatever you do, just stay away from the sport. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that thing. Yes, my lady. Something you wanted to. My fists are crushing it out there. Small fry.
All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. Together, that wasn't even a problem. to say? Easy peasy. Ha huh, hoodle. Yeah, I doubt anyone would hear if we even called for help. I don't think people flattened into pancakes. No choice. Hear me! Uh, not today! Burning right. strike! Do it! Do it! Great! Amazing! The tide of battle and, and strength of burn. the boat! Get toasty! Burn strike! Right! Next the one! Fix it. Already here! Got oh, this is Ready and Beyond astral energy, full throttle. Go! <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. The design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Looks like it could be worth something. Together, that wasn't even a problem. A bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. Should we really take this? Get lost! <laughs> Not today! Come here! I'm come on. one, now come on! see what I can do! Rising You are in great time! Sion, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. We are freaking invincible! Alvin and the others truly are strong. What about me? Wish they were all that easy. Yeah, I think we might be getting too strong. 
Isn't that good? Play along, would you? Everywhere you look, it's nothing but green, green, and more green. Just like Calaglia. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. And Cislodia. Snow, snow, and more snow. Why are you talking funny? This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. Have you guys... Checked your equipment lately? 